Hello folks, and welcome back to my dungeon. Um, if you see my other videos, it was on that side of the basement where my desk is, but now this is the other side, and this is where all my astro accessories are. This is my astro corner in the basement, and this is where I keep all the unused stuff right now. And I just realized I never actually made a video on my Celestron A to C Alt As mount. This is actually the very first uh, motorized mount I ever bought. Can you believe it? And actually, this you're not going to believe. It arrived on March 16th, 2016. That was less than three years ago. <laughs> so I haven't been in this for very long. Can you believe it? I, I couldn't believe it when I went back to look at the dates. It seems like I've been doing this forever. At least, it, I don't know, sometimes it feels that way. When things don't go right, at least. And uh, I thought I would actually put it back into use. Now, I never really gave it much of a chance because probably two or three months after I bought this, I then ordered the um, Celestron AVX mount. And probably seven months after that, I ordered the CGX mount. And, but I... I <laughs> I'm not going to try deep sky with this. I'm not crazy. You know, it it, it, it wobbles a lot. And uh, even with the wedge, it, I, I think I would be losing too many subs that way. And But I, I don't see why it can't do solar system objects. So I'm actually going to put it to use and, and get some snapshots of the moon. But I don't see why it couldn't do that. And... Uh, by the way, there's actually, <laughs> I never put it on YouTube, but I do have it on video when I was unboxing this thing. It's, it's, it's hilarious because I had no clue what I was doing. It, for me, it was funny to go back and see that video. But instead, the first video I have on my Astro channel occurred 10 days after I bought this when the wedge arrived. And that is such a terrible video that it actually has twice as many dislikes as likes. In fact, I feel sorry for people who want information on it, and they go back and see that video. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not. I'm not asking you guys to go back and see it. It's it's completely pointless. But I left it on there. Why not? And so, uh, getting back to what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to have to leave the diagonal on because to do the moon because there's just not a lot of room here, and I'd be banging in. To, to the base of the mount here if I if I had a, a big optical train on here but I don't want to use this diagonal that came with it because it's only a 1.25 inch diagonal that's that's just too tiny I probably get vignetting with this little thing but you know I have so many accessories I have this two inch Diagonal. It came with my big refractor. I don't use it for deep sky, but I don't see why I can't use it for the moon. And to hook up this two-inch diagonal, I have, I had this before too. It's a two-inch SCT adapter, and it's actually pretty simple to install. Let me show you here. Like so. Then I'm going to put on the diagonal. Come on, you can get in there. Just like that. And then I have this, my eyes, I, I need glasses. It's a, it's a two inch T2 adapter. This is what's going to let me, uh, mount my camera to it. So I'm going to slide this into there, tighten that up. And I was debating on which camera to use. This is my ASI 224MC. But I'm thinking if I capture something good, this, this camera with the little sensor is probably not going to be um, big enough. It not have high enough resolution for a 20 by 16 inch print. I'd, I'd be stretching the image, and if I'm doing that, uh, I'm going to lose quality. So instead of, but this is how it would go on. I think it would go on just like this. Yeah. 
But instead, I'm going to use the camera that's on my solar setup right now, and that's the ASI 183. That has a lot higher resolution and a bigger sensor. I think that would look really good on a metal print with a bigger size, and I'd get more of the moon, too. And I, I want to make sure I've got, I'm all prepared here. I, I've got my, my Telrad. I'm not going to be doing plate solving. Uh, I don't even know if I could on this all day as long. Right? So I've got a Telrad ready. I mean, <laughs> I can't find the moon. I have real issues, but I'm still going to put it on there. And the one thing I did have to buy, I bought a 2-inch Barlow. I didn't go all out. I just found an Astromania Barlow on Amazon for 56 I think it was it was over 50 bucks. That's cheap enough. I'm not I'm not spending big money on this. I'm sorry that the, the furnace just went on. You might be hearing some background noise. I tried to do it before the furnace shut off, but I knew it would go over. And so that's my Barlow. And I'm not going to use my Moonlight Focuser. It's it's way too heavy for this setup. There's just no way. It's here it is right behind me. I don't know if you can see it up there. I, I got my batten off mask ready. And what I think I'm going to do is... I have a video on how to focus on a star. But I'm, I am going to focus on the star first. Because I want to get really close. Uh, make sure the Because when I've tried the moon before, I was always um, imaging a deep sky object first. And then all I had to do was just go right over to the moon and I kept the same focus. So I thought maybe I'd just focus on the star first and then see how the focus looks on the moon after that. So I want to do that first. And to power the mount, I've got the little cigarette lighter adapter here. And this would plug in right here. And then I would plug this into this. And I love these little talent cell batteries. I used to use this on my AVX mount. And it would keep my mount powered up for... Um, shoo, uh, seven hours. It, it was a really cool battery, and this would just plug in just like that and turn it on. It powers on, so I should have no problem powering my mount with this setup. And what else? And I'm, I'm not going to use a dew heater. I, I don't have one available. It's all on my other rig. But I'm going to at least use a dew shield. And I'm not going to be out there for very long. I don't want to be because it's cold out there. I'm not going to be doing any remote Wi-Fi. I'm just going to be out there with my, my laptop, get some quick videos, and get back in the house. It's probably going to be less than 30 degrees out there. And uh, I think that's it if I'm not forgetting anything. I know I'm going to forget something, and it's going to drive me up a wall. Uh, what else? I think that's it. I know I'm forgetting something, but let's see how this goes. And... Uh, um, the next time you see me, I'll, I'll be doing some imaging. So, all right, I'll be back. Well, I'm on my iPhone here, and this is what everything looks like out here. There's my main rig on wheels until I do my polar alignment. And there's my Nexstar 8SC Altaz mount. Got the little battery down there, all powered up. Got my laptop on a table here. And I'm pointing at some twigs <laughs> next door. Or I'm not exactly sure. I gotta point to something that I can make out what it is so I can line up my Telerad. Uh, I didn't exactly tape on the, the Telerad <laughs> very neatly, but it, it's steady as a rock. I cut my finger while I was doing this too. Ha! All right. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So far, so good. Well, almost everything went as planned. Can you believe it? On my first try, I actually did get off a few images of the moon. I'm, I'm impressed. It's not too bad a first try out. Um, these are, uh, here's three final images I've done before. And I just, I mean, I just did tonight. And... I'm, I'm not going to go over how I processed the moon because I've already got a video on how to do that and you, I'll put the link right up here for you. But that was the first shot. It's, 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 I, I might have had some focus issues and boy, even when I touched the knob 
just barely touch it, the moon starts shaking like crazy and there's a long time for it to just settle down before I can start imaging. So it actually takes a long time to focus because it's just one little touch and you gotta wait, okay, how does it look? Not good enough yet? Touch it again. So that, that was not easy. And that's what I remember from a long time ago. That came back to me. <laughs> that was one shot. And here's another shot. Um, either I'm out of focus or my SET is not really collimated as good as it could be. So I'm, I'm, these aren't as razor sharp as I was seeing with my refractor. So, uh, but my third one here is, is my favorite so far. I, I think I can live with this one. I might even put this on Astrobin. Uh, this is it at, at full resolution here, so what do you think? That's about the, I think, that the best I've got out of this so far. And, yeah, I, I think I'm not going to, you know, at the end of the video, I'm not going to sort of zoom in on this and play music like I normally do because this is just a first night out, and I, I think I can do better. So I think I can probably focus better, but it was cold. My hands were freezing, and... I just wanted to get on with it, try it out, and get back in the house. And I didn't get a chance to use the Barlow. So maybe next time when it's a little bit warmer outside. And earlier when you saw that um, I had my main rig out there along with this setup, I I didn't actually multitask. I was <laughs> I didn't want to deal with doing two things at once. So I did my next star. I did some shots of the moon put it away, and then I started imaging with my main rig, so I chickened out. <laughs> I didn't want to deal with it. So, um, that's all I got, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you later. Hello, folks. Welcome back to my dungeon. And if you've seen my... If you've seen my other videos down here, it was on that side. Right. <laughs> now I'm getting frustrated. I'm finally going to say I'm, I'm going to finish this video. I think I hear the furnace coming on, but I'm not starting over. I've already started over way too many times. And if you want to see the bloopers, they're at the end of the video. And I don't care if I screw up now, I'm, I'm marching on. And if, <laughs> getting back to this though, <laughs> you didn't need to hear all that.